What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I'm here in downtown Yangon and I've got a few places to show you guys. So let's go. Alright, so the first place that I'm bringing you guys is a tea shop um, right by the mosque. Really, really small one, like almost like a street, you know, street food tea shop something like that and then there's like uh, some lady selling donuts which is really really nice so yeah let's go to the shop and share with you guys all right for this vlog I'm being joined by my friend right here I think he's been in a lot of my vlogs recently and there's another guy he's a kid his cousin what's your name name blue call it you're like oh long did you leave you down below. Down below. Okay, nice name, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get some toys. See, I, see, I, see, I, All right. Woo. All right, magic trick. <laughs> All right, magic trick, guys. Butterfly, give it a slap, turn into a bird. <laughs> okay, let's get one. Okay. Getting busy, eh? So we're here. So it's just like two stalls, one drink stall, and then there's like the tea shop just right at the corner of the mosque. Yeah, let's, let's have some donuts. So this is the place that I've been wanting to share with you guys for the longest time but I've never really come here in the evening. So yeah, basically they have this like traditional Burmese donut which is just soaked in like jaggery juice which is, it tastes incredible. And they have like a tea shop right along this mall so yeah, it's just a lovely place to have some snacks, you know have some tea but they only open like during evening period right now it's like 3 p.m 3 4 p.m yeah 4 p.m and yeah this is the only time that they operate so yeah i'm here and i'm here to enjoy a few snacks i also got these pancakes which is one of them is with the eggs and one of them is the normal one wow i'm telling you guys and by the way the tea here is on the next level so if you are in downtown Yangon you have to come to 29th Street to try their tea as well and I think it's like relatively cheap oh, I'll pay to yeah. no, you don't. I will let you guys know in a while but I think it's relatively cheap so this is the pancake that I'm talking about with same ingredients like you know jaggery juice spread across with some co shredded coconut so, yeah here we go, first bite. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. I should give to the to the guy next to me. There you go. This is some like quality food, quality yes. street food. Yes. All right. Okay. Let me just put him into the vlog. Yes. I'm being joined by this kid. <laughs> He just want to be part of the vlog, but yeah. Hey, try it. Yeah, ma, mola kau, kau nak makan nak bini? Kau lah, kau ni? Yes. Makan ni? No. Ah, alright. Nah, sadi yo, you ni? Alright. Oh, he got a double one. Hmm. Let's try the tea. Yeah. You, sarong masade. Yes. You haven't sarong masade. Me, you haven't even tasted. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, the tea is good. The tea is so good. Oh my god. Mm, then you are you so Kauna. Kauna. Yes. Sasa. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Mm. All right, so let's try the one with the egg. It's quite soft. It's not like crispy as the other one, like a little bit soggy. But this one is with sugar instead of jaggedy, but she still put in both coconut and with the egg. This is the more expensive one I, I can't say it's expensive because it's just a couple of cents but compared to the to the original one it's much more you know more pricey but it's nice hey bro take half I can't finish everything there you go sharing my food with my food buddy I think I should bring him to a lot of my food vlogs because most of the time I can't finish my food. Mm. It's just a, such a nice place to, you know, come down for a few snacks and some tea. So yeah, definitely come down here when you are in Yangon. It's getting much busier. <laughs> He can eat a lot. He can eat a lot. <laughs> and it's so cute. <laughs> Every day I say, you want to eat? Yes. Anything. Sama, no? Did you know? We're being sama, no? It's so good. Venezuela, no? More donuts. I can probably eat this every day. I shouldn't, but I can. This is so nice. So there's a new store here which I'm gonna try. I think it looks like spring rolls. Yeah, a couple of spring rolls and some cakes, I believe. Any buy there? Yeah, that's my idea. That's my. That's really something again. That's my idea. That's my idea. That's my idea. That's my idea. Okay. Okay. You got some fried banana in like a wrap in like a spring roll thing, and some vegetarian spring rolls. So yeah, let's try that out. Right. Some. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. These are not hot anymore, so she must have like fried it when she opened up the shop. But 
This looks good. It's just pure vegetarian um, spring rolls. Mm. It's still crispy. It's just cabbage and cabbage and some. Oh my god. I'm like totally forgetting what vegetable is that. Carrots. Cabbage <laughs> and carrots. What the hell? Mm. Still very crispy. Wow. Mmm, bro. Try it. Mm. This is so good. Yeah, we're just dipping in some sauce. Mm. Alright, next stop is fried banana. I'm not really a big fan of it and yeah I was asking her which one should I get and she highly highly recommended this. Um, yeah I've had this in like a couple of places. Just look at this, it's so crispy guys. Ooh. Some bananas. Okay, let's give it a try. Not really like sweet banana type thing, but there's lump, there's some sugar in it, like sprinkle sugar, and I'm like actually chewing on them. Still though, this is like fried in like a different style. That's why I'm trying it out, and she highly highly recommended, but. Still, not really my favorite, but it looks good. Oh. So next stop is a sunset bar you have to visit when you are in Yangon. So yeah, this is how it looks. So next stop is the 19th street. Um, yeah, it is very standard when you guys are coming to Yangon, Myanmar especially. Uh, 
Yeah, you just have to Google like places to go in Yangon, and this will be the first place that pops up. In front, there's like a lot of fruit stores and a lot of like dry goods and fried cricket, which is very very popular. But I'm not gonna try it in this video. I'm just here to you know have a cup of beer with my friends, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, the whole street, the whole street, the whole stretch of like the 19th street is all full of bars and restaurants. So yeah. If you guys are into that nightlife, right now it's pretty quiet, pretty chill, which is what I like. But this this place like used to be really, really busy and really, really busting with a lot of people. You can't even get seats. But yeah, right now it's like kind of empty. But you guys know why. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I haven't talked about the bar, uh, the the rooftop bar that I went just now. So yeah. I'll talk about that and I'll end the vlog here. So anyway, the bar that we just went to is called The Pier. I couldn't bring my camera up with me, so yeah, I just take a few, you know, B-rolls here and there. But in my opinion, that is like the best, you know, rooftop bar to go to here in Yangon and watch that beautiful sunset um, with like, there's a lot of like, you know, sea activities like boats, ships going on. And you can look at those like, you know, containers, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's just really beautiful and the sun set right in the middle of the like the view of the bar So yeah, I think it's just brilliant. So yeah, make sure to go there um, Yeah, that's pretty much it uh, about this vlog. I haven't been vlogging because yeah I'm actually, you know going away from Yangon for quite a while So yeah, I've been really trying to enjoy myself and not vlog But today I just feel like vlogging and showing you guys the places that I'm going to so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate every single one of you and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye guys